Hello everyone, today in this video I'm going to talk about is learning C so mandatory in 2022 or you can just skip this language. So let's look at the facts of the, about the C and then understand its implementation and the applications so that we can understand well if it is necessary to go with C or should go with some other different languages. Few facts about C. It's a procedural language and it was built or developed by Dennis Ritchie in 1969 to 1973. So between that particular year. And uh, thinking about the years, it is 1969. So comparing it to 2020, it's almost more than X years ago. So uh, when they built this particular language, that is C, the main focus at that particular time was building an operating system or building a compiler. Because uh, in those days, there was nothing, something called as an operating system or, you know, something like we have now, the user applications, etc. It was kind of a, a need at that particular time to build an operating system. So this C programming language was actually meant to build a compiler or we can say a system OS. And talking about why it is so important, as I said, it is meant or it is a language for writing an operating system it means it helps us to understand the underlying architecture of how things work and what actually does happen when particular set of lines is executed or you know it's kind of a core wherein every single thing is written and makes sense like you know okay uh, take the data from here keep it in this memory location XOR it or it or you know and it do whatever a logical operation is then send the result so we can understand how small small things are implemented with the help of C and that's really necessary when you're learning a programming language and that's a single point that makes learning C an important concept or point C is kind of a middle level language which means it's not a binary language that is the assembly language and nor it is a completely high level language so it kind of covers the gap between those two making it a middle level language and it helps uh, it to use in case of uh, building an application or at the core as building an operating system. C programming really helps us to understand the concept and the theories of computer science. C programming can be mainly used in compiler designing networks and you know understanding how does the cache things work in, uh, at the, the CPU and how the processor executes the set of instructions. So that level of uh, execution can be understood with the implementation of C or learning a C language would help you to understand those concepts. One more, you can say it as an advantage or disadvantage, but still it really makes sense to be added a point to this video. That is C has a fewer libraries for, if you, let's say if you want to do something, you might have a library for that or you might not. For example, when it comes to Python, you have almost you know lacks of libraries to work with. But when it comes to C, you have a few libraries which makes you to implement that particular set of thing or uh, you just need to create your own library making it you know uh, really start from scratch something like that so you can count it as an advantage over c or you can count it as a disadvantage but you know writing a code from the scratch makes sense that it will help you to understand the core concepts very clearly last but not least c is the highest executing programming language you cannot have a debate on that so we know that C is highly efficient and the fastest programming language. It was this is the magic of executing as fast as possible. So when compared to other different languages, the C has a highest execution speed along with its easiness of writing. It makes sense because after all, we are striving for memory management and the time management. So learning C would, you know, collapse these two difficulties or you can, you know, overcome these two difficulties. And finally, 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 I have something to add upon with respect to C. Now I've talked about relating to a software developer or a software programmer. So I was to say that, you know, uh, C is this, 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 but C at the core can be used for embedded designing or embedded coding. Uh, let's say you want to write a code on a microcontroller, then you can do that with C. So you can see that uh, my, uh, so C language can be used as an application, as an operating system, as a compiler designer, it can be used at the networks, can be used at the complete hardware that is the microcontrollers and microprocessors. So uh, looking at its versatility around, you know, 
it can go with anyone or anything that makes it really beautiful and unique and kind of a must learn programming language these are my thoughts why you should be learning c programming in upcoming any number of years because you can see that until and unless these two factors are solved that is ease of writing memory management and the third one sorry is the space management so if these three problems are solved by any other programming languages then it does make sense learning that programming languages but for now looking at the versatility and rest of these are the three factors that i mentioned going with c is absolutely a first choice you should make as a programmer i hope you enjoyed this video for more make sure you hit like share and subscribe so that's it from my side my name is nilesh adalgi see you in the next video until then take care bye bye and don't forget to share this video with your friends so see you in the next video